Well, hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and one of the MCs here at Gold Learning. I'm so excited today because we're talking about our upcoming Gold Lactation Online Conference 2023. And it is my pleasure to be able to uh, host and talk with all the speakers that are going to be with us this year. Now, Dr. Farooz and Dr. Amal were actually here with us before, and they're back, of course, by popular demand with a brand new topic, and they're going to be sharing about the many colors of breast milk. What does it all mean? And we'll talk about the topic in just a moment. I do want to let you know that this event will be opening soon on April 3rd. That's right. We have our opening keynotes that you'll be able to all come and listen to. It's absolutely free and you can log in now and register for our opening keynote. Now, for all of you who want to join us for the event and come year after year, you know how superb it always is. Well, this year, we're absolutely delighted to be bringing you even more more content. And it's so exciting. We have more panels, interactive sessions, and of course, your networking sessions that you love. So do join us over at goldlactation.com, register for the event today and get in on all the savings. Well, hello to both of you. It is so good to have you both back with us here, Dr. Fruz, Dr. Amal. I'm excited about this topic. I've just had a little sneak peek. I'm just going to tell people <laughs> because um, it, it sort of alerted me to the fact that your topic is so important. Um, you have incredible visuals that you're going to be sharing with us throughout this event. I know that people are going to learn so much from just seeing the visuals and understanding what was happening. But let me ask you both. Uh, well, let's start with Dr. Farouz, if you could. Would you please introduce yourself again and tell folks where you are and what you do? Hello, Fiona. How are you? So well. Uh, thank you, my friend. I am Fairouz Zaisawi, a pediatrician and neonatology consultant, uh, and uh, definitely an international board certified lactation consultant. Uh, I am also an neonatology Egyptian fellowship trainer, uh, a baby friendly health initiative coordinator. Uh, and the associate alumni in Harvard Medical School. Uh, I, I am a member in, in the Egyptian Society of Pediatrics, uh, Egyptian Lactation Consultant Association, ELCA, and the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine and the International Lactation Consultant Association. Uh, I am from Egypt. I live in Giza. Uh, I work in uh, post um, uh, neonatal intensive care units and uh, I work as a pediatrician uh, beside my work as international lactation consultant uh, in uh, maternity hospital and in private clinic. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for that introduction. And to you, Dr. Amal, could you please introduce yourself and let us know where you are and what you do? I'm also from Egypt, Giza also. Uh, I uh, graduated Faculty of Medicine uh, class of uh, 1986. Um, I obtained my master's uh, 1992 and my PhD, we call it uh, MD because we have an exam and a thesis. So uh, MD is a PhD in Egypt plus an exam uh, in the year uh, 2002. Um, immediately the year after I became an IBCLC. So this year I will be certifying for 20 years. Um, uh, I am uh, a member of uh, and board member of the Egyptian Lactation Consultant Association, member of the International Lactation Consultant Association since 2008. Um, member of ABM, Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine, since uh, 2009, and um, IPFAN Arab World Advisory Committee um, since 2012. Uh, also, I was elected board member uh, of the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine, November 2021, 20, uh, um, and also a fellow of the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine. Uh, I'm running a pre-exam course, preparatory course. Uh -huh. uh, since uh, 2004, um, we helped so many Egyptian and Arab uh, um, uh, uh, healthcare workers, mainly mm -hmm. physicians, uh, to become IBCLCs. 
uh, and we are doing many activities around the country. And also I am a speaker in uh, the International um, Lactation Consultant Association conferences and the ABM conferences too. And I have been speaker to gold also. <laughs> <laughs> that, yes, you have. Well, thank you to both of you, um, our very distinguished guests here. Um, it's absolutely delightful to have you here. I know that you are both very busy, and uh, but you are so passionate about your work, which is really what lends to, of course, you being here once again, talking about this topic. Now, again, I'll just remind folks, um, the many colors of breast milk, what does it all mean? This presentation will be part of our main program here at Gold Lactation. Can you please um, just briefly maybe Dr. Farouz tell me why this topic was important to you? Uh, as a lactation consultant we face uh, and met um, uh, uh, we meet to uh, mothers with uh, concerns about the breast milk color mm. uh, which may be um, um, a cause for quit breastfeeding or uh, to be worried can I feed my baby this milk or not so we, yes. we need to uh, discuss the different breast milk colors uh, cover and answer and discuss causes of abnormal breast milk colors and we also go will go through uh, to compare the management of different cases of unusual colors as the not every um, uh, specific color has the same pathway and the same management we can see pink or red milk color and go through uh, a lot of uh, differential uh, diagnosis and a lot of cases with different cause for this milk. And so it's important for the lactation consultant to discuss with the mother uh, the, this mm -hmm. concern and to help them uh, how to manage th this problem and to counsel and to communicate with parents. That's wonderful. Yes. And I and I did notice um, for those of you listening in, I, I mentioned earlier that I had a bit of a sneak peek into the presentation. And I have to tell you that we're going to have some case studies as part of this presentation, which, of course, is a bit like a ride along. Um, you're going to be mentored through some of these scenarios, which is actually fantastic for all of us. You know, all of us love to share our cases and talk about how and what we've learned from them and how ultimately we manage them. So that's absolutely fantastic. Dr. Amal, I have a question for you. My concern is always, um, you know, often there's such a focus on, you know, the infant and what is happening with them. And sometimes, uh, you know, the, the parent, the mother will neglect herself in all of this. When did you start to see that this was actually a problem that there's always a focus on the infant and maybe a little bit of a neglect for the, the mother or the parent breastfeeding. Tell me your experience about that. My experience with that starts when I started to practice as a lactation consultant, where I was originally a pediatrician. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, um, I received cases as pediatrician and secondly, as a lactation consultant. So... Uh, to try to win the mother to my side um, and make her listen, um, I had to, uh, to uh, let her uh, feel that I am genuinely concerned for her, for her health as much as I am concerned for the health of the baby. Right. Because many mothers would... Um, I was a mother myself, and I have seen many mothers. Um, when they feel that the pediatrician is all the time concerned about the baby's health, and she has to uh, endure the pain or endure the bleeding or endure whatever she goes through for the sake of the baby, and nobody uh, cares about her, uh, her at all. Uh, so I had to address her feelings too, and mm -hmm. I had to uh, be concerned about her health uh, so that she uh, uh, she doesn't have to endure any pain. Right. She, has, she doesn't have to um, endure any health risks for the sake of the baby. I really appreciate that. And I know you and I had a chance to talk just briefly, um, you know, offline about this topic. And it seems that there 
is this constant, uh, maybe even a misunderstanding, um, the, the direction of always caring for the baby. And we know that it really starts. It's a, we have to have this self-awareness um, and self-care first. We're always reminded when we get on an aircraft to put the mask yeah. on first, you know, yeah, make sure that yeah. you have your oxygen on first. But yeah. when it comes to mothering and parenting, uh, this seems to fall by the wayside. There's a complete yeah. neglect. And then ultimately, um, perhaps we'll see the parent, the mother, uh, not even breastfeed anymore because they are so worn down and neglected themselves. So this yeah. is going to be, uh, I know that you're going to talk more about this uh, while we're talking at this event. So I'm excited, but I know that this is an area that you're also very passionate about. So thank yeah. you so much for, for sharing your Most experience welcome. with us uh, once again. Uh, Dr. Farooz, Dr. Amal, it's always my pleasure really having you here and hosting you. I actually can't wait to hear more about this. Again, the many colors of breast milk. What does it all mean? Please bring all your questions. Uh, we'll be engaging and talking throughout this event. Dr. Farooz, Dr. Amal, thank you again for joining me here today and answering some of my questions. Thank you. Carol. Most welcome. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of you who tuned in to listen once again. We'll look forward to seeing you at the live event, goldlactation.com. Registration is open now. You can head over to the website and register for this entire event. I will look forward to seeing you online. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone. Bye-bye for now.